check out the interview with his chief spokesman. See if you can spot the moment when his whole world falls apart. Judge Moore has also said uh, that he doesn't think uh, a Muslim member of Congress should be allowed to be in Congress. Why? Uh, under what, but, under what provision of the Constitution? Because you have to swear on the Bible. You, when, you, you, when you are before, I had to do it. I'm an elected official, three terms. I had to swear on a Bible. You have to swear on a Bible to be an elected official in the, in the United States of America. He alleges that a Muslim cannot do that ethically, swearing on the Bible. You don't actually have to swear on a Christian Bible. You can swear on anything, really. I don't know if you knew that. You can swear on a Jewish Bible. Oh, no, you can swear I swore on, a, on the Bible. I've done it three times. I'm sure Jay. you have. I'm sure you've picked a Bible, but the law is not that you have to swear on a Christian Bible. That is not the law. <laughs> you, you don't know that? I did not know that. <laughs> Boris Johnson has big plans for the nation. Conservative MPs and party members are gathering in Manchester for the start of their annual conference. The Prime Minister tells his party that he'll deal with the biggest issues that no government has had the guts to tackle. So how did he do that? By talking utter shit. <laughs> what monkey glands are they applying in Ribble Valley? What royal jelly are they eating? You know, our wonderful nurses pull my chestnuts out of that Tartarian pit. Cordroid, Covenant, Cosmonauts, fiber optic vermicelli, coagulated roundabouts, cheek by jowler, raucous caucus from the Antiochus caucus. <laughs> the country's on his ass, and he's taken acid and swallowed a dictionary. <laughs> Did you hear what he said? Raucous caucus, sausage porcus. <laughs> It's like he's trying to remember his safe word. <laughs> ask your parents. He's... <laughs> he's... Don't ask your parents, actually. <laughs> but Boris is absurd. We've got a fuel crisis, and he's boasting about this. Otters are returning to rivers from which they've been absent for decades. Who needs petrol? We've got otters! <laughs> you can't... You can't run a car on otters. <laughs> Unless you've got loads of them on a leash. <laughs> and they're dragging it. And sure, I'm not against that. <laughs> but it's just not practical. You know, most of that are just down quick fit. Your problem, mate. <laughs> you've got a flat otter. <laughs> also, let's not muck around. The otters return to rivers by themselves. It had nothing to do with Boris. <laughs> he didn't seduce them back. <laughs> Like some kind of otter pipe piper just <laughs> covered in fish. Come to me, my bridges. <laughs> and when he wasn't banging on about the animals of farthing wood, he just came up with meaningless slogans. Build back butter. Build back batter. Build back burger. Build back bitter. Build back beaver, I say. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Build back beaver? <laughs> That's not useful. That's something a female sex robot would say. <laughs> Bill Mac Beaver. <laughs> Mac door battered. <laughs> Burn my batteries. Here's a slogan for you, Boris. Stop talking bollocks! <laughs> we don't want slogans. We want answers. But whenever he's asked a tricky question, he deflects it by saying a normal word in a funny way. Listen to the way he says global. Have you got 100% of your staff back behind their desks? No, I think I don't... What's your percentage? I, 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 it depends which... I've got 100% back at depend, LBC. It depend, what it have depend, you got? It depend, it, well, I congratulate you. Yes. I, 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 I congratulate... And does that apply to the whole of global? <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't pronounce something in a funny way to get out of trouble. No, officer, I haven't been drink-driven. <laughs> I, I haven't even been to the pip. <laughs> oh, my otter's flat. <laughs> but the trouble is... <laughs> Boris Johnson does this all the time. I have nothing to say about this matter except what you some tea. Flying frisbee. <laughs> Blue. Passport. From Google. Dude. One crouton. Vegan sausage rolls. UFOs. Flapjacks. <laughs> and yeah, he's funny. There's no denying. But we don't need funny people in a crisis. They don't help. 
Nobody has ever been in a burning building and gone, quick! Someone get me a comedian! <laughs> Grand's dying, fetch Jimmy Carr! <laughs> Ridiculous. Boris just doesn't inspire confidence. I mean, look what he wore when he went jogging. Look at that! <laughs> Who goes for a run wearing a smart shirt and brogues? <laughs> he looks like he's just been caught banging someone's wife. Just... <laughs> That's right, madam. And... <laughs> Was it you? When he wasn't... <laughs> Caucus, caucus, when... I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. When... Oh! When I can't look at you, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but when Boris wasn't running around like an alcoholic James Bond, he kept saying this. Leveling up, 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 leveled up, leveling up. But what does that mean? Even his supporters don't know. What does levelling up mean? Yeah. Um, as far as I understand it, it means giving everybody a, a fair crack of the whip. Well, it means levelling up rather than levelling down. And there's a significant difference. Yes. Because up is here... <laughs> ..and down is there. <laughs> and as you can see... ..they're very different places. <laughs> Do you know the otters are back? <laughs> it's so exhausting. And the only reason Boris gets away with this, he's surrounded by people stupider than he is. Look at Kit Malthouse's response when asked if he was sitting near the Prime Minister. Is he honest all the time? In my experience, yes, he is. Uh, are you having to say that because he's sitting right next to you, Mr Malthouse? Is it, is it slightly, no, I don't know. Is it I have no awkward. idea where he is. There he is. I have no idea where he there is. There he is. <laughs> One thing we do know, masks are back. It'll be face masks back on if you're on public transport, in shops and even in some secondary schools. Predictably, GB News were furious. We are covering our faces so that they can cover their asses. We're covering our faces because it's an airborne disease. <laughs> but go on, any other wisdom? Virus gonna virus. <laughs> virus gonna virus? That's not journalism, that's an Instagram post. At the end of the day, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Live, laugh, virus. <laughs> Pathetic. Even MPs were complaining. I'm exempt from wearing a mask on the basis of my genetic predisposition to liberty. Oh. <laughs> Piss off, you moany toad. Why don't you... Why don't you stick to what you do best, falling asleep in Parliament? Undo any of it. Uh, but the, the, um... The Charter Parliament is right. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sleepy gonna sleep. <laughs> Whilst thousands of Brits were stranded, look where the Foreign Secretary was. While the Taliban were advancing, Dominic Raab was on holiday here, in Crete. So, did he cut his holiday short? Nope. Dominic Raab stayed on holiday for two days after he was called back. Imagine that! What? The Taliban are back. Stranded Brits, well, I'd love to help. <laughs> but I've got paddleboarding at two. <laughs> Enrique was going to work the kinks out later. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> it's nuts. Have you seen the hotel where he was staying? Mr Raab was on holiday here, the Amarandes Hotel and Resort in Crete. It markets itself as for the privileged and perceptive. Privileged and perceptive? <laughs> Surely it would have been perceptive to leave your holiday and do your fucking job. <laughs> Rather, rather than lounging around in a hotel so wanky, it offers an Instagrammable floating breakfast experience. <laughs> I mean, 
What even is that? <laughs> Who takes photos of an omelette in a hot tub? <laughs> Dominic, it's Kabul, not now. I've got some Weetabix on a lilo. <laughs> That's it. Soak that milk up, you <laughs> fibrous little tart. That's right. <laughs> mm, that's what Dominic likes. <laughs> so, did Rob apologise? Nope. He came up with an excuse so fabulous in his bullshittery, you have to admire it. The, the, the stuff about me being lounging around on the beach all day, just nonsense. Uh, the, the stuff about me paddleboarding, nonsense. The sea was actually closed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Couldn't have been. I couldn't have been paddleboarding. Uh, the, the, the sea was closed. Uh, the, 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 the sun was on a Hindu. <laughs> uh, the wind was uh, uh, it was uh, kayaking with Dame Judy Dench. <laughs> Mad. It wasn't just him shirking his duties. Boris Johnson took a holiday as Kabul was about to fall. Jacob Rees-Mogg was getting pissed on GB News. This is oh. this is the Rees-Mogg oh. side. Let's give it a go. Oh, wow, that's real. <laughs> <laughs> did you hear what the Tories did last Christmas? The Prime Minister has refused to deny that Christmas parties were held in Downing Street last year when the UK was in lockdown. There were several dozen people there with food and drink and games, and it went on past midnight. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Don't clap. <laughs> Fucking Boris is in the front row. <laughs> We had a great time, and an absolutely smashing time. It's unbelievable. We were locked down, they're having a conga. Ba da da da, fuck you. Ba da da da, eat shit. Ba da da da, hey, ba da da da. It is such, <laughs> such a piss state, man. We had hands face space, they had candy, brandy, hand shandy. <laughs> Did you see them scrabbling to cover it up? All guidance was followed. The guidance was followed. No rules were broken. Oh, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> Damn, like, we followed the rules. Yeah, if the rules were made by Rita Ora. <laughs> 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 yeah. You know I'm right. People were furious. They wanted to get the police involved, to which Dominic Raab said this. The, the police have been very clear. They'll look at any letter, but they don't normally look back and investigate things that have taken place. Here we go. <laughs> the police don't investigate things <laughs> from more than a year ago. Crime doesn't have a sell-by date. <laughs> it doesn't go off. It's murder, not milk. <laughs> we found a body. Yeah, but it's curdled. <laughs> Mind you, if crime did expire after a year, this guy would be delighted. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because some of his friends have been investigated. Unreal, isn't it? Gavin Williamson, he can't tell the difference between sporting heroes. Downing Street has defended the Education Secretary, saying he is not racist. It follows criticism of Gavin Williamson after he admitted confusing the England footballer Marcus Rashford with the rugby player Maro Atoje. <laughs> what a moron! <laughs> He's in charge of education. He can't tell the difference between Marcus Rashford and Maro Itoje. <laughs> they look nothing like each other. <laughs> Amazingly, he's done this before. This is him and Lady Gaga. <laughs> Here he is with Take That. <laughs> and this is the moment he met the Queen. <laughs> Did you see the Tories covering for him? It was so embarrassing. Is he racist or incompetent? Uh, um, you'll, you'll forgive me saying, I, again, have probably seen no more of this than uh, what you have seen. Well, I what know more do you... He's, he's, he's mixed up two prominent black English black sportsmen. He's got them the wrong way round. I repeat my question. Is this through incompetence 
or racism, Minister? Uh, honestly, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, um... He's, um... <laughs> both? <laughs>